What are you doing? Get the f away from my fish. Seagulls! This video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. F off, seagulls! I'm just kidding. Calm down, MTB. I do love you. We gotta make jokes, but there's like a thousand seagulls pecking at my fish. You've gotta show up, and you gotta do the dance. And never seen anyone looking so fine, man. I gotta have it. She's a one of a kind. I'm going one. Going twice, I'm so delighted. Dude, I am I am jacked up, ready to go. Get out of here, sickles. They're actually not doing anything right now. But hey, welcome over here to Lunkers TV. I like to drink a little bit of coffee and have some fun with you guys. Ah, <sighs> feels good. How, how do these seagulls, the real question is how they find, listen to them. But there's a lot of seagulls over there, which I want to know, was there like a big sign in the air that said, hey, free food here. Come on down, seagulls. I wish you could hunt seagulls but I did bring the little kayak today. I'm feeding the ecosystem what's going on. That's exactly what's going on. We're gonna get some fish today. We're gonna go check the, the areas that we did put the big um, screen things and see if anything has moved. Es essentially from here uh, to where we busted the dam to down over there was a, is about 20 acres. So there's like a stream that runs through about 20 acres right there. So within the last three days, some of the fish that have came out could have pulled up and then moved down and maybe got caught up in there. We don't really know, but I know for a fact, well, I'm going to say I know, I knew for a fact that on two days ago or three days ago when I was here, man, it is chilly today. Two or three days ago when I was here, um, there was a lot of fish that were up here, but I mean, after these seagulls have been here, I mean, some of these bass, they could have marks on them. You know, they could come in when they're babies. Like you guys will see like coop marks and stuff on bass. Like you guys might see big scars and stuff. It's actually from like a bird when they were younger hitting them. And that, that's what it's actually from. So they could have been battling the good fight over here against the seagulls for all I know. A lot of the bait fish is probably gone, but I'm sincerely curious. There was never a seagull here. There's never been a seagull here. How did they know? It's a good question to ask, right? How did the seagulls know that this pond is drained down just a tad bit why is that bird chasing another bird? God, there's a lot of shit just going on out here. It's like Jurassic Park, but bird style. Uh, but how do they know that these bait fish were just ready for the plucking? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? But I'm gonna go switch on to maybe a little bit more shoe-worthy attire and uh, drag this, this thing out here. Man, Flair would be so excited. Let's get it. I'm in a good mood today, boys. And gals, because I know there's a couple of y'all gals that watch this channel, unfortunately. Well, it's not unfortunate you get to look at my beautiful face every day, huh? Tell you guys right now, this video is starting off spicy-like. It's a little chillier than I thought. My boot is still soaking wet, didn't realize that. I only have flip-flops, so this is gonna be good. So this is what you learn when you're an idiot. Sometimes, you know, I've had to do this a few times in my career, just kinda, see? Look at that, that's how you do it. Oh, it is mushy in there. Oh, it's soaking through. It's not working. It is not working one bit. Son of a bitch. My foot is soaking wet already. Update, don't use a plastic bag. It does not work. Well, look at, look at all that. That's crazy. This is how big it's gonna be. I can see from here now. I, they had so, we had, well, I don't live up here, but we, they had so much rain up here. They had three inches of rain. And it actually looks like it may have Come over and bust that little tiny, maybe that little tiny dam you made. But now it's full of sticks, so it's making me wonder if the uh, that little beaver came through. Cam, I don't think this worked at all. I think this was an epic fail. No, I don't know if they went through. I just don't know if they came down here. Because you can't really get through it. Like fish-wise, they're not, because it's closed off underneath. They can't get underneath. Maybe none of the big fish even made it down this far. See, there ain't nothing down here. Could walk and go check some of those pools throughout here, if you want. See, this is what I was talking about. Look how clean this water is. It's coming up from somewhere. Well, I'm gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of walking for you guys. Kind of just take a gander. <sighs> I don't know if they've really made it down here. Woo! I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Coronavirus. It's almost like I'm, I'm prolonging the inevitable of me having to get in that damn kayak. Well, because I feel like that's gonna be a show getting down, down there. So here could be a big reason why there'd be no fish in there. It's pretty much dammed up right there. You see that? Yeah, it's all dammed up right there. There could be a reason why there's no fish. These are the kind of pools I'm talking about. They'll just sit in. There's no real flow going on. I feel like I'm just like putting it off. I think I just need to go slam that kayak in the pond. 
It's naturally going to be deep, dude. And this is like 12 foot right here. Do you know what print that is? What does that look like to you? Does that look like what we chased? Is that what I'm seeing here? Where's the other ones? Hold on a sec. What is going on? That's my, is that my boot print? Oh, sh no. Oh my God. Oh, holy Toledo. That's a mother cow elk. Do you see this? I see it. You see it, right? I'm not going insane. This is a cow elk walking through here. There's no way that a single cow elk will be walking by itself though. It's too big. It was too big to be a, a pig track and it doesn't look like a pig track. It's too round. And if that was a pig track, that'd be the world's largest pig. So where am I at right now? I have no idea. Where did I, where did I even go? I just started walking like randomly the wrong way. I was looking at the ground. Dude, look how big these, look how big these raccoons are. Look how big these damn raccoons are. Are they in this tree? I need to come out here and set some raccoon traps. These are, look at, look at this thing. Look at, look at that, look at that Ricky right there. His paw is four fingers wide. It's a big one. Oh, this is interesting. What is this? Directions for use. Do not use on dairy animals or in a dairy barn. What do you think that is? Well, it's closed too. There's something inside of it, but there's a lid on it. You want it? You want to open it up? You don't want to open it up? <laughs> no. I think we should grab it though. It looks, it looks kind of sketchy. It looks like a poison bottle. Well, what is it? You, oh, I was going to say, you want me to go? Oh, oh, there's no, there's no. What's inside of it? Rocks and dirt. A little squirrel got in it? Yeah, well, it's a bunch of just nuts. Nuts. Oh, okay. Well, let's keep it. Bring it up. Oh. Don't see anything darting off. Oh, there's more pools all the way through here. Jesus Louise. Look at that dog. That's a big coyote. So before we get too far, I want to let you guys know about the sponsor of this video, which is Mystery Tackle Box. If you guys do not know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it is a subscription-based box company that gets sent to your house every single month. It's really awesome. It's like Christmas time every single month. You go out to your mailbox, you grab it out there, you're like, oh, what did Santa Claus send me this month? A bunch of badass baits. That's right. If you guys want to check this out, you guys can click the link at the top of the bio. You guys can get one of these boxes for five dollar hairs. First box for five dollars. Use code Easy Peasy at checkout. This is one of the coolest features about it. So you guys want, so you guys want some lunker logs, or you guys want some uh, little saucy swimmers. Well, you guys can also order those on their, their website. And guess what you can do? You can add them to your box for free. If they fit, they ship. Doesn't cost you anything extra. You just pay for the baits. They put them in. So they sent them. So if you want to try something new, you guys can. This is the way to do it. If you guys are looking to get somebody a gift, or maybe you just like a lot of tackle yourself. This is probably the thing for you for this month. It's pretty much what we got out the gate. I just had some Guggen stuff that I'm gonna be using today. I got a little lunker log and a little 3.3 inch South Sea swimmer. But this is the kind of stuff you get. Look, I actually might throw this around a little bit too. You guys get a little bit of these live shotting, these big drop shots right here. You guys get some Carl's little flipping baits. Yeah, there you go. Little flipping bait. Then you get some ring tees. Some more um, little Bass Dynasty things, and then you also get some drop shot weights. So, like I said, if you guys want to do this and you guys want to add some more stuff to your box, if you guys already have a subscription, you guys can, but make sure you go to the link at the very top of the bio, click it, use the code Easy Peasy at checkout. This company has been supporting myself and the Googans for four or five years now. They're the real deal. I love you guys. Thank you so much to Mr. Tiger Box. You're, you're the best. Sincerely, thank you. Well, I took John's kayak, because, well, it, it doesn't really matter. We all have the same same one. Just, I'm gonna have to, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to drag this thing quite a long ways. Like, yo, you, you ready to do this? Yeah, man, I'm ready. Are you ready to get, yeah, 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 I'm real ready. Yeah, I'm ready. How ready are you? Oh, I'm real ready, don't worry. I'm really ready, I'm gonna shove these rods. In. That's not where they go. Okay. Uh, all right, Cam, I'm gonna bring this thing just in case. The biggest, biggest net I could possibly bring for a kayak. It's all good. It's just, this, is, this is gonna turn into a show. I can, I, I'm like already, I'm already feeling the vibe. I'm already feeling it. I'm gonna have you slide it down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this thing filled with water. I don't know if it's gonna turn on now because this thing is filled with water. Yep, I guess it's waterproof. So, all right, Cam. I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Don't worry. All right, Cam, I got this. Don't worry. You're not worried, I know. Oh my God, that is really full of water. That might be a little too much. All right, Cam, I'm ready. 
I don't want to I don't want to be like that guy everybody sit at home but this does not seem like it's gonna be too good I'm, I'm just expecting like a giant mess my real concern is how am I, how am I gonna get out of uh, I guess I can pull the kayak to here we'll be fine we'll be good okay don't really know where else to go because over here is really real soupy like oh yeah go ahead just slide her on down all right there we go all right this is this is I'm, I'm like feeling it right now all right, do you think you can push me out just a little bit or push it out? All right, go ahead. Let's push. I'm going to see how far it'll go. Oh, sh you don't want to lose that. It's like the one thing we need is that ball. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get in it, all right? I got it. Oh, I got it. All right, here we go. You ready? Push. Two. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Oh, my lands. That is extremely deep. All right, we're... Step one. We're out here. Look, I thought this was going to help me out, dude. This is not going to help me out. It just goes in. It goes all the way in. Okay. Cam, I don't want to be that guy, but it's like really shallow out here. Look at all that bait. Oh my. Is that a little bass up there? Okay. Oh, look at them over there. Look at them. It's like they see the seagulls coming. Look at them all swimming. Oh my gosh. What? I don't even know what to do. What are, I'm about to get in a fist fight with a seagull. Look at that thing. There's mud everywhere. This is not going to be easy. Oh my God. Dude, one just ran into the kayak. Not even kidding with you. Just ran straight into the kayak and turned around and went that way. Oh, shit. Do you see that? Yeah. That thing just burled into the side of this. There's no way they're gonna eat. They are not gonna eat. They're running into my kayak. I just had another one right there run into it. They're running into the kayak. How is this, what the? Cam, we just need one fish. Holy sh that thing launches. Oh, do you see that? A lot of bait right there. Oh, he's got it. Oh my God, no way. I just got hammered. I just got hammered. I just got hammer timed on that crazy bait that I thought I would never use. What the hell? <laughs> I'm talking smoke. Okay. Got it, got him. Oh my God, I got him. Oh my God, I got him. Oh my God, it's a big old large mouth. Oh my. Boom, save that son of a gun right there, baby. Woo got him. Oh my gosh, the MTB box just came in clutch right there. Look at that. This little crazy little, listen to that thing. Cam, I got me a fish, buddy. Holy crap, that just worked out. Oh, look at this. Oh, I just, I am not, that just hurt. That really hurt what I just did. I don't know if you guys just saw that and you, you didn't, but here you go. There's one fish. So I got this thing right here that just went straight up my rear. You see that? That really did not feel good. Oh, that was like the, you know that area between the, the back and the front? I had to take a seat for a sec. Oh, that didn't feel good. Ugh. Oh, right. Think I can step right here or no? There's a rock right here. Kind of good. Oh, shit. oh my god. On oh, that. Oh. Oh. Bucket's just a little small for him. He's, he looks like he's like trying to spawn. Look at him. Oh, 
name is Jerry. Yo, Jerry, what are you doing in there, buddy? Is it Gary back in there? No, no, they, they haven't put him back in there, but that, well, that tank's been there for about almost two weeks now, building up the antibacterial or bacterial stuff it needs. It just went in this last week, yeah. Yeah, so it should be pretty fun. <laughs> There's a boat behind me. I, I got it. So we all have, we haven't said anything. I actually have a jet drive boat coming. And I thought the one behind me was, or behind you, behind, in front of me, behind you, was it? And I got a super jack, and then I realized it's not it. I got it for. Yo, Jerry, Jerry. Oh, I don't want to take you out right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Buddy. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. All right, this is going to become as a little bit of a shell shock to my boy, Jerry here. I went with the name Jerry because we already have a Gary and everybody wants to know Jerry. I don't know if Jerry's a female or not. That also, I also don't know if Gary's a female. But anyway, Jerry was just living in a mud pit and now Jerry's about to be living in some crystal clean water. We just got the tank back about a week, week and a half ago. It, it, it literally cracked and it was leaking and we had a warranty on it, which was great because gosh dang y'all, those tanks are exceptionally expensive. So thank God for warranty. There's no fish in there right now. They have to bring the fish back. I think they're coming back this week. So he's gonna have some friends. But if you guys would like to meet Jerry, he'll be up here. So yeah, there's a little bit of Jerry action right there. All right, buddy. All right, Jerry. It's, yeah, you're used to this whole water is going away from you. Oh, uh, he might be bigger than Larry. Oh, you son of a... Oh, geez. oh my God. No, that's not what I was trying to do. Not what I was trying to do, buddy. Okay, come on, come on. I got you, I got you. All right, he's gonna freak out, so I'm just gonna kinda... Calm, calm, calm down, calm down. He's got my finger, he just bit it, let it go, okay. There you go. Yeah, you're good. Calm, hey, calm, calm. It'll be fine. So what this fish doesn't know, what, what he literally doesn't know is that he, I just saved his life. It may be kind of scary right now. I mean, imagine going from something where you literally could see this much to something like this. It's really, th this fish don't look that bad. Okay, I'm just gonna leave, I'm just gonna leave him be. I'll tell you now, the water's a bit warmer than where he just was. I hope he survives. I know some of you guys are watching this may, may not realize this, but a lot of fish, when you take them out of something like that, they don't survive a lot of the times. He might. I mean, he has a better chance of survival in here than where he was. I want to see if I can get some more fish out of there. I don't know where I'm going to put them. That's my, that's my other concern. I could put, I guess, another like five bass in here. No problem. I mean, this is, I forget how many gallons of tank this is. It's really big. I don't really know how many gallons. It's a lot. Anyway, well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video over here on Lunkers TV. We're going to be saving some more fish off my ranch at a later date, probably later on this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. Other than that, we're going to roll that sweet succulent outro, and I'll see you guys later.